all foster and adoptive parents uh, need to and have to go through uh, some type of education course. Um, in, in this state, it's, it's a, called MAP GPS, and it's a wonderful course that really prepares you for this experience. Um, I think for a lot of people, they think, wow, you know, I, I want to adopt, I want to foster, why don't they just let me do it? But what you need to understand is that preparing yourself for that is just as important um, as you opening up your home for the child. Um, you'd be doing yourself a disservice if you entered into any kind of uh, a committed situation and didn't prepare yourself. The initial uh, home visit where they come out for licensing is, to me it wasn't bad. It's just making sure your house, house is safe for the child. For me, I realized that everyone's goal was to find a child a good home and a place where that child can be secure and happy mm -hmm. and that it wasn't it wasn't threatening it wasn't that they were coming in to make judgments on our family but they wanted to see what our family was like and what kind of child would fit into our family and what kind of child we could be a good family for but the home study not bad if we can get past the paperwork, we got it made. We were very worried about the cost at first, um, just because we didn't know. And we happened to look into international adoption first, and we're just kind of blown away by the costs. Um, and we weren't ready to just give up um, our dream of being able to add a child to our family. We were quite surprised and, and pleased that to, to find out that um, staying domestic, staying in the country, even state to state is, I mean, the cost can be minimal, if any. When I adopted my daughter from the foster care system, it did not cost me a dime. We were amazed at, uh, at the benefits of adopting um, a child from the state system. We were really surprised because we had no idea that those uh, advantages were out there. And I think that's not commonly known. I think a lot of people don't understand that, uh, that there are benefits. In medical. I mean, not having to pay medical insurance for your child uh, until they're 18, that, that's incredible to me. That, that's a lot. Yeah. If financial reasons are the roadblock that's preventing you from stepping out in foster care or adopting, uh, those have been removed by the state. Um, most agencies offer post-adoption services so that if at any time, you know, during, during the process, even after the decree is final, there's always someone there that you can contact that can help you. Um, as children grow older, you know, there will be different issues that come up developmentally. That's true for our birth children as well, but certainly for uh, our children that we adopt. And as those situations arise, there is someone that you can contact. It is very important to be involved in a foster parent or adoptive parent association. You, what you're going through, no other group of people are going to be going through. The, the, the issues that you deal with, only foster and adoptive parents are going to deal with those issues. And it's very important. You've got to have someone you can call that understands and somebody that will be there to support you that understands what's happening in your life.